Hey guys, how's it going? All right, let's stamp another card. Um, this one is kind of a belated birthday card for um, Tony here on YouTube, and you can find her channel. Um, it's called Tony's Witchy Art and Crafts, and um, she actually just did a cool birthday challenge, and I think she had a lot of entries and things for that. And um, you could make certain things and send them to her and possibly win a prize. So that is awesome. I think she's got some more things coming up um, in October as well. So make sure you check out that. Whoopsie. Um, let me get a paper towel. I thought I was going to be able to do a, one with this one without having to get a paper towel. But never happens. Okay it back in frame here. So these are some of my favorite, favorite stamps. These are um, stamps by a company called Stamp Oasis. And they're out of business now, but oh my gosh, I wish so bad that I would have bought more from them. I have, um, well, let's see. No, actually I don't think any of these are. That one might be. Um, I'm going to stamp that one out as well because I couldn't decide if I wanted to use this one or this one. That one, I believe, is like non-sequitur rubber stamps, maybe. But, um, anyway, uh, I wanted to do both. So, oh no. <laughs> Might be the other one because I just smudged that one. Got a little black thumbprint on the side. <laughs> but I do love this one, so... I wanted to try it out and see. But anyway, check out her channel. I think you will adore it. Um, actually, you know what? I think, just maybe, I could get all my stamping done, put the powder on, and let it work that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I was worried about it drying too fast, but if I did it that way, Let's give that a try here. Pull her back off. So if anybody remembers for sure the name of this one, um, I'm not, like I said, Maybe it was non-sequitur rubber stamps, but I don't know. I feel like some of the best companies, I mean, there's still some really awesome companies out there, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like some of the best ones have now retired for whatever reason or gone out of business or I don't know. Or maybe it's just like my style of stuff, but, um, but don't worry. I still find plenty to buy. Oh my goodness. Still find plenty to buy for sure. Speaking of shopping, um, have you guys seen Tim Holtz's new alcohol inks? I ordered them, I think, yesterday, and um, I don't know why, because I've been looking at them all week long. I knew I was going to order, but I just, just fiddled around, I don't know, <laughs> and didn't until the last minute, but um, so now I may not have them you know, I don't know. I don't know when I'll have them, but whatever. They haven't shipped them out yet. I ordered them from Simon Says, and, um, but tomorrow, well, it's today, technically, which you will be seeing this, so, um, Tim is on at 12 o'clock, where, well, it's Eastern time. I don't know, I don't know what time. You'll have to check your local, uh, YouTube or Simon Says page or, well, no, it's not Simon Says this time. It's, um, it's Tim's actual page. So check YouTube and see what time he's on for you. I know it's 12 o'clock Eastern time, but, uh, so, um, unfortunately, I'll be on the road about that time, so really annoys me. <laughs> I really want to see it, but, you know, you can always watch the replay, so it's not a big deal, but, tune in and he's going to be doing all kinds of things with alcohol ink, alcohol lifting, and his new inks, but as well as his old inks too. So, okay, I have to turn the noisy thing on. I'm sorry.
one down, one to go. spot <laughs> that didn't involve spell. Okay, so unfortunately, I like both of those. So, I feel like with some of the celestial stuff, it goes well um, with the blue. So, I used a nice little star embossing folder, and um, I'm going to put both of them on blue, and we will just continue to see what, what we like there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the inside of the car. Well, no, I'm not. I'll just wait till the end. We've got some time. Okay. So, I'm going to keep the blue sort of down here just so I can think about it. You know what I mean? I don't want it to, like, interfere with our coloring, but, you know. Okay. So, of course, we need, like, a, a yellow star here. For this one at least um but yeah i'm i'm late on her birthday card i'm pretty much late on everybody's birthday card so i get them there eventually but it's not not always an on time kind of thing but i'm doing a little better i'm still in the same month technically so it's a start okay um didn't have any um, any markers laid out for this, so I apologize. Take me a little bit longer to decide. Usually, I pull a few. Just I may not try them out, but have them sort of over this way. That I think I might want at least. So. Anyway, but Tony is an amazing artist. She she can take like literally nothing and make it into something fabulous. And and then of course you can imagine what she does with something that's already fabulous and makes it more fabulous. So she makes some awesome, awesome junk journals. Is that is that her neck? No. not sure. <laughs> I think my marker, I'm telling you, so many of my Copic markers are just about dry. Do you guys have that problem? Like, I don't feel like I really, well, this one I probably do use for just about every skin tone, so maybe. But most of them, I don't really use that often. I do not feel like they should be dry at this point. And I don't want to have to buy all the refills, but I guess for my favorites, I'm going to have to if I want to keep them. But it's quite annoying. And if you buy something, and they're like $7.99 each or something, so you, you want them to last, you know? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, okay, I'm thinking gray for the stars for some reason. I don't know why. Let me get a gray. Ooh, everything's falling. Okay, I need a, a bright blue. And then we'll see what else. I want to do the moon in blue. It's not quite as bright as I thought, actually. That's okay. Yep, not, not as bright as I thought. Okay. Wrong end. Anyway, I totally will be watching Tim Holtz tomorrow. Um, well, like I said, on the replay. We're supposed to go see some live music, which we're leaving at crazy o'clock in the morning. 
because he wants to, I don't know, do other stuff and I don't know. Sometimes I just like to go and just get there like right at showtime, <laughs> especially when it's like 90 bazillion degrees and, you know, um, but we did have a brief whatever where it rained each day for several days now. It was really hot today, but um, it wasn't like too, too, it was very muggy. But, um, it was, I think, only in the high 80s, so that wasn't terrible. But, um, I can't believe I saw 100 degrees. 100 degrees on my, you people in Texas and Phoenix and wherever, I don't know. Or like, oh, please, girl. Um, okay. I want her to have maybe some of this blue eyeshadow, too. Maybe even some blue eyes. Um, she's going to have a nice ruby. Why do I always open the wrong end? Um, nice ruby lip here. But anyway, it's, um, it's somebody we saw last year. Gary Hoey or who Hoey. I don't know. Somebody in like the blues, whatever. And, uh, but it doesn't start until like 7 o'clock, so, but, um, what color, what color? That's almost just like that one. Hmm. Let me look at the end here. <laughs> I would, both of them. Maybe I put them in that way or something. Uh, I don't know. I'm not feeling these blues for some. Maybe that one. Um, I want all these swirls to be blue, I think. But not that blue, necessarily. But anyway. Um, but on the bright side... We will, I was wondering if we would, but we will definitely be near a Michaels, so I'm super excited. I was talking to um, the closet stamper on here, and uh, so I'm so excited, girl, that you um, have the white stuff at Michaels, the white, I, I call it the white Halloween stuff, I don't know what to call it, um, at your place. So I'm really, really hoping, because this will be probably the last time I'm near one before going back to work and then, you know, I'm just not going to be traveling that much and whatever for a while and then Halloween will be gone by the time I start traveling again. So, um, and you got to buy that stuff quick because it gets picked over real quick and like Wendy was talking about, they, you know, now you've got all your like resellers buying it up and wanting to sell it to you for a bazillion dollars online and that's annoying, but part of the, the game now, I guess, but, um, Anyway, they, um, um, they have it out, and it's, I wish it was there when I went, when we were in Tennessee, that would have been nice, but they didn't have it out, er, so, um, but it's like a white cream colored goodness, it's kind of like creepy, but like a romantic, beautiful creepy in a way, but not... I don't know how to describe it exactly, but, um, okay, we're going to work on that in a minute, but, um, and we're going to work on her face right now real quick before I forget that. I feel like it's a little, it's a little splotchy on the complexion here. Um, her hair, well, I mean, her hair is pretty. It's like stars and whatever, but, um, they're at TJ Maxx. I'm looking for, um, well, there's, there's Marshalls and TJ Maxx. It's apparently like the same store. I don't know. But um, a Medusa head. She is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I'd love to have that one. But anyway, but I really, really want that Michaels stuff. But I really can't afford it all right now. So I'll probably just get a thing or two. But I really wanted the planner with the, the vines and the, I don't know, it's like veils or something. Um, but you can't order it online or anything. And then there's some, like, beautiful witch pictures. There's, like, a cauldron with a 
a hand, a skeleton hand with a cool like snake going up. I don't know if it's a ring or going up the finger or something, but it was awesome. And um, so there was that and just, just all sorts of goodness that was not there before. Um, okay, so let's focus. Um, so we're gonna give her the same, same lips. It's a good lipstick color, I feel like. And then maybe the nail polish, because I would totally wear that. But anyway, let me know if you've seen it, if it's at your Michaels or not. Um, but there's some beautiful, like, I don't know, like pretty witch pictures, I guess. Um, and then there's also all the regular stuff, you know, too with it. But um, I don't know, it's just really, it's just really nice. I feel like there's got to be a darker blue than this. Ah, there we go. Okay, and I want to check a nice purple with it. Okay, that's what we're looking for. I might go back and redo that now. Don't know. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. So, oh, this is going to take some time. I'm sorry, y'all. We're going to go around each of these. If we can. And not go in the, in the lines. But that is proving hard. But anyway, so I told um, my fiancé that we definitely have to run in Michael's for that. For sure. And there's a bookstore right near there. So, we'll just do that too. And he, he can hang at the bookstore while I shop around for a little bit but there is um i hope they have it it's a it's probably one of the very few stamping magazines that still exist and it's to be honest not that great but i always try to get the halloween issue and it's uh rubber stamp madness and um they used to have a pen pal section do you guys remember that or did anybody ever subscribe to it back in the day and uh I actually met a couple of really cool people in that so that was nice but they probably don't even have that now but um but i know they still the magazine is still out as far as if you want to subscribe at least but hopefully this is a larger city so hopefully their bookstore will carry it still i used to get so excited to go in i was actually published in a couple magazines so that was fun back in the day and, of course, one was a Halloween card. And, uh, actually, I think they both were Halloween cards. But, um, anyway, that was exciting. But I just loved just getting them in the mail. And it was just awesome. But the online world, the digital, whatever, took over. So, which is good. I mean, it it connects a lot more people, I feel like. It's weird how it's like... We're so, we have the power to be super connected, but then we're kind of more disconnected than ever. But, I don't know, at the same time, like we totally, we wouldn't have YouTube, we wouldn't be doing this, so there's that. But, I don't know, it brings people together, but yeah, it keeps you very to yourself as well, I feel like. So, it's good and bad, maybe. I don't know what that is, but we're going to color it blue. Hmm, I like this. I think I'd wear this cloak. I used to have a purple one and a black one. Pretty much wore the purple one quite a bit, though, so I didn't. And then I kind of outgrew it. <laughs> Been outgrowing a little bit of everything lately, which is not good. But I do love to eat, I swear, I do. Tomorrow, I want to go to this Chinese restaurant, but um, he's already talked to a buddy of his, and he, the buddy lives, like, right near this club, bar, or whatever we're going to. Um, it's not, like, in the, in the club or whatever. It's, like, out back in their, I don't know, whatever section where they have outdoor concerts and things, and, um, so, okay, 
is that? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So, I'm going to do some hair. It's this color. That's hair. Okay. And hmm. I'm going to give her some. Shadow too, why not? Touch up that lip. Anyway, um, his buddy is really wanting us to come and eat there with him, which to be honest, last time we ate somewhere else and I actually looked at most most of them just kind of have like basic bar food, right? And um it's not always so impressive, but um I'm going to do these little flowers at least yellow, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what color to do everything. Some of these little tips. Uh, maybe her little tattoo. Whatever that is. And that. And around there. But anyway, it actually looked like decent bar food for a change. It, it looked pretty good. Um, but I didn't get anything because, like I said, we had just been out to dinner. So. Um, so I don't mind eating there, but I don't know. I'm really craving Chinese. I'm always craving Chinese, to be honest. But um, There's a really, really good buffet. <laughs> up there, so I'm like, hmm, I don't know. All right, so let's get a lighter purple instead of that such severe um, dark purple. I'll do the inside of the super cool earring. Maybe her headband and around there. So I think that's her arm. So I'm going to go back in and uh, with the right end and color that. Those. Somehow, I don't know how you don't end up seeing. It's like you're doing yellow and yellow and yellow, and then you're just suddenly it's like, oh, I didn't see that. Drives me bonkers. Touch up just a little bit here and there. Go over it one more time. Be a little darker. I think, honestly, I'm liking this one better, but what do you guys think? Which one should I send her? Okay, I'm going to do that, all that color, and then I'm going to go in with the dark purple right there. And maybe right there. Maybe right there. In there. And look, I still, it's, I don't know if it's just not hidden right, or, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do like her so far. Um, yeah, I like that better, but let's work back on her now. So now that we have this out, let's go over it with this and see if we like it better. That was the color I was thinking of, kind of to match the background of the card, but it actually goes better with the silver anyway, I think. There's a cool, um, Halloween frog set I want out. I actually ordered from AliExpress um, a couple days ago a little, few little things and um, 
So today they actually have that set on there. And I actually didn't want it from AliExpress this time because sometimes with Ali, you gotta be careful. It's not, it, maybe it's not the same size or the same, you know, it's definitely not the same quality, but um, it, it does in a pinch and it's a lot cheaper. And I know the argument of everything and designers, and but sometimes we have to watch our dollars too. And it's like, ugh. so I don't know. But anyway, um, I can, I can kind of argue both sides of that. So I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's sold out everywhere. I was going to get it. I did a little Simon order too. Simon says stamp. And, um, although only a couple of things from their new release, but I watched that today and that made me want a few more things of that. But overall, I, I can pretty much resist that. Um, so it won't be too bad, but anyway, um, but they were out of this, it's a, it's stamped by, who was it, um, Creative, Creative Expressions, and, um, but anyway, everywhere is sold out, so far as I can tell anywhere online, and, um, like I said, I wanted the real thing this time, but I can't find it. And I don't want to wait for it to come back in stock because it'll probably be after Halloween by the time it does. And then that's annoying to me. But, um, you know, and I know I could use it the next year or whatever, but I want to use it this year. Darn it. So I'm thinking about getting it from AliExpress, but it's really cute. And, I mean, you can creep it up too, but it's probably more of a cutesy kind of thing with um, frogs and, you know just the skull and the it's got some cool little words going on with it I like that and I don't know I just need it okay I need it <laughs> so so what is your so far anyway and I there hasn't been a whole whole lot um or that I've noticed anyway of Halloween stuff released yet so do a little bit darker gray to start it off with a nice light gray but let's go dark goddess here I am very excited to see what Tim Holtz brings out sometimes I don't like it most of the time I do um, sometimes, even, even when he does the cutesy stuff, I end up kind of wanting it, but then I don't use it. So there's really no point in me getting that. I like more of the creepy stuff, but he does such a good job of selling it. It kills me. So, okay. I'm also going to do gray on her eyes instead of blue. Okay. And I got another ink mark on the hair. That's just not good. Um, Okay. So, what we can do, well, I'll tell you what, first we're going to glue it down so that we can do more stuff to it, because I don't want it to get all lumpy bumpy on me. A little, a little long on the tape there, just pop that back up. Alrighty, centered pretty well. Okay, so I've got these as well. I was gonna save my ink spots with. So definitely one on that ink spot. <laughs> one on that ink spot. And one up here in the corner, maybe. Okay, that, that looks bigger. <laughs> um, I could wink a still it, maybe, but I'm not yet. I'm still seeing a few little edges that I didn't get. Okay, so we're gonna lay that one to the side for a minute. 
So this one I like the way it is. So I'm gonna glue that one down. And then we're gonna try something else with that other one, I believe. So what are y'all doing this weekend? Anything fun or exciting? I'm hoping this is gonna be fun and exciting. To be honest, I feel like it's just gonna be hot. Because like I said, it's not necessarily in the club itself. It's out back and we take our folding chairs and that kind of thing. And um, we just kind of set up camp, I guess. And, uh, but I mean, it was a good show last time. So there's that. All right. I guess we can, well, no, I need to spray it first. Okay, let me try it out on, no, let me try it out over here. So I brought out a bunch of mica sprays. There's the juniper berry, snow flurries, winter frost, frozen fog, and phantom mist. So I've got to do a little shaka shaka shaka. Get all these nice little, I guess I should do two at a time since you're waiting, right? I won't shake it on camera so you won't like get dizzy. Okay. Shake these. I'm really excited. I found a new dog groomer near me. Well, not near me, but about 45 minutes away, which is in my never, never a little part of the world <laughs> is about um, as close as you get to civilization. And even that is not major civilization, but um, okay. So I'm just going to test it out on this. Okay, so that's our snow flurries. Juniper Breeze. I don't want to cover their faces, you know, but I'd like to give it a little mist of something. And we can always just do dots. That's pretty. Okay, that's too dark. I like that one. And that one is the Phantom Mist, so... All right, it's looking like the frozen fog for something that won't cover, even though I probably really like that one better. So, get out another piece of paper here, and I'm just going to shake that up a little bit more. Move that out of the way. Spray kind of goes everywhere, so I'm going to spray it from like way back here. You won't be able to see, but. I'm just going to let that dry. Actually, you know what? I've got the heat gun, so I can just dry it. Let's dry it. Dry-ish, anyway. Okay, I don't really know that that helped it, to be honest. Um, let me get my black splatter here. I'm just going to, let's see. I'm just going to cover her main face a little bit. Let's do a little bit of splatter. <laughs> it goes everywhere. So I usually have the splatter box. Okay. Get that off of the star if I can. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's this one. This one it is. Um, okay, so now let's move that to the side. Get our stamping tool back out. I'm going to 
use this one. Every woman is a star. And I have a couple of pans and I walk the path of the ancient ones and cool stuff. Okay. Now where to put the little thingies? Oh goodness. Hmm. Well, I cut little pieces. Wait, maybe they're, yeah, here we go. Okay. Let's give that a quick little stamperoo. Better, better, better. Okay. Move that. Turn their tape again. Uh, I've been in. Oh, I hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> oh, that's why I hate to have inky fingers. Um, and honestly, I don't feel like. I don't feel like I can use white that well. <laughs> Because I always have an inky finger. Awesome. Um, anyway. Okay. Awesome. Happy birthday, Tony. You are a star. As is every woman, I believe. Okay. So one more quick thing that I want to start doing is doing an envelope. Y'all know I like these large envelopes. I know it doesn't really fit the card. I don't care. I just like them. Um... I tape them and I'll, anyway, I just, I don't know why I like them. Um, so I just want to, you know, kind of stamp a little something, um, on the outside and, um, oh, you know what? That, let me move this out of the way though. That is where we can have these come in. So I kind of need a little bit of area right there. Make sure I get her, you know, her name and whatever on there. And uh, I'm just like we're making a little circle, I guess. Yeah, I really want to make a circle. Circle of life. Okay. Um. I want to let it run. I can't let it run too much because, you know what I mean? Let me try pressing another one into it. See if we can get a two for here, two for one. If we can. Yeah. That's pretty. Mm-hmm, 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 right. Um, we could even spray just a smidge of this over here, too. Well, that didn't get quite the edges. All right, let's dry these a little, okay?
guess uh, I thought what we are going to do, we're not going to do because it's not really drying in time. But, um, we can do a little something maybe to the back. Or maybe to the front, I don't know. Um, I just thought we'd stamp like some moon phases or something, but I guess we could do it when we dry. I mean, when they dry, I thought I might do like a large background over the whole back. But I need it to dry. Pretty dry. Scared to touch the card here, but I'm going to try to put from one moon goddess to another or magical mail or moon mail. Probably could read, probably could read this one better, I guess. Or maybe, yeah, I don't know. Gotta save the stamp for over here, so we'll put another one there. Maybe there. 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 Okay. I think I'll leave that be for now. <laughs> I don't know. I have to think on this envelope decorating, but it is really pretty. Like, it's very shiny and everything. I like that part. Um, but that's like soaking into the abyss because it's not drying. You see what I'm saying? So, we'll have to think of a solution there. But anyway, so thank you for watching. And Tony, have a happy, happy birthday. Um, well, I guess you did, right? <laughs> um, happy belated birthday is what I'm trying to say. And I'll see you in the mail. Bye, guys.